Color theory is something I've always struggled with, but thanks to Skillshare, I think I'm finally heading in the right direction. So in today's video, I'm going to color this illustration that I'm currently drawing, but I'm going to color it twice. Once using my normal coloring method that, like, you know, I always use where I just pick a random color that I think is going to look good together, and I just put it all together and have my drawing. And I'm also going to color it again using a method, well, one of a couple methods that I learned in the Skillshare class, where I learned a lot about color theory so that we can compare them and we can see what I learned. Also, since sketching takes a long time, here I can mention my wonderful sponsor. If you are unaware, Skillshare is an online learning community for all sorts of creators, and I think there's over 13,000 classes, and they have all different topics like design and art and cooking. I saw recipes on there. That was pretty funny. And uh, anyone can take a class, or you can try the projects in the classes, or you can even sign up to teach classes yourself if there's something you know really well and you want to share it with other people. Now, I should mention that you do need a premium membership to access all these features, which is usually $10 a month. But since Skillshare has generously agreed to sponsor this video, I'm able to link you to two months free using the promo code WAFFLES. And when you use that, you can get two months free of as many classes as you want. You're not limited to, like, one class on how to arrange roses in a vase that you don't even care about. You can pick your own for free. And might I suggest Keenan Lafferty's used the webcomic challenge drawing guys and girl characters that I didn't get to talk about but I really, really enjoyed and I think you would too, that you can check out for free. Wait, how much? For free. Mmm, I like free. And with my two months free, I checked out a lot <laughs> of different classes on, uh, one was on practicing illustration, one was about writing hacks, another one was on creating web comics. Um, but in the end, I think the one where I feel like I've learned the most was um, Christine Ishiyama's Art School Boot Camp. And might I say, she deserves a lot of credit because I've done a tremendous amount of research trying to figure out this thing called color theory and it's just never, it's just never sunk in. <laughs> um, but uh, one of the things that she does differently that I noticed was um, whenever I look up color theory, they always tell me of what hue means, what saturation means, what's a complementary color, what's a analogous color scheme like things like that and like I understand those terms which they're very very important terms and you should know them if you want to sound at all intelligent and if you want to understand things um but I've never been able to apply what I've learned from those things to my art in a way that I liked so what was cool about her is in her lesson she actually gave you a couple tips on how to like getting started with color theory and learning to apply it to your art which if you haven't been listening is exactly what i was looking for oh my goodness yes <laughs> anyway all right now that the line art's done i'm able to color my illustration and so what i did for this video is first i colored it the way i always color a drawing so that's what's happening right here i'm just adding like my default skin tone that i use for everything which i know is really terrible but it's really just convenience and laziness that me leads me to do this um so I just used my default color, added some blush, you know, I'm doing everything the same way I always do it. I mean, one problem I did have with this that kind of made the comparison a little off um, was I did draw this after I watched the video on color theory. Well, it took the lesson, actually. It's much more of a lesson because there's like... Um, in her lesson she tells you like different things to do and she has little assignments to help you learn things so it's much more of a lesson i don't know why i called it a video <laughs> um but i did do this afterwards so i did have a few things just sort of like you know in my brain somewhere even if i was trying not to access them they were still there so i think this was <laughs> i actually did a pretty good job coloring this but we'll see how i add the colors later to uh We'll see if you like that one better. Anyway, I decided to add a little bit of shading because I really, really liked the way this drawing was turning out and how flowy your skirt was. Um, so I did a little bit of that. And I really liked the way this turned out. And I gave her these cute dreads that were kind of like yellow and pink at the same time, which I thought, yeah, I would probably do this, but it has no color theory bearings whatsoever. So that'll work. <laughs> and that's why I did it. And so I just wipe away the colors, and now I'm adding in the new colors using one of the tips she <laughs> demonstrated in her lesson. Um, she gave, like, I think it was two or three. I can't remember what the other two were. I remember one of them. But anyway, I used the one that she 
like goes over first, which I thought was a really, really cool way to do it. Um, just to like, just for getting started, I wouldn't like use this for like everything, but I thought it would be really cool to just see how colors work well together. So what I did was I found an image on you or <laughs> an image on Google that I thought really captured the colors I wanted to use in my illustration. And then I shrink it down really small. And then I apply this Photoshop filter to it that like blocks out the colors and only uses the most predominant colors and it creates that little if you see on the left side of the screen there's this weird mosaic of different colors so that's what I got out of the image and then I use those colors and apply it throughout my illustration wherever I want and create <laughs> that's like my color scheme using professionals work and copying it and no that is not illegal to steal colors from a drawing like it's not even stealing really <laughs> I mean I call it stealing because I think that's just an easier word to use but it's not stealing because look at that look at that little mosaic can you tell what art that is right there like it's so distorted <laughs> it's a really really cool thing to do and if you really want to understand the reasons behind it and different techniques I definitely recommend just go check out her video I mean you have your two months free just go do it take the lesson and learn some things for yourself um, but I really like the way this turned out right now I messed it up if you look on the screen I um, added all the shading and it just uh, it made everything just really really dark so what I did was I went in and adjusted the levels just so to like get it back to the colors it was before I shaded it but it would still make maintain the shading and I really like the way it turned out in the end um, you might think maybe the first one was better just because it had different colors but I really really like this second one it's so much more earthy it's more cohesive it just seems a little bit more professional whereas the first one you know looks like someone who didn't know what they were doing did it which I didn't eh. At first, when I was at the concept of this video, I thought, oh, I'll just recolor her in all three techniques from the lesson. But I was like, no, that's going to get really repetitive because once I do it one way, like I've already learned so much that the next time I do it, it's like you can't compare it because I've learned more. So it really doesn't work that way. Besides, she already made a very, very cohesive and comprehensive lesson. Why would I just copy it and make it worse, really? <laughs> so check her out. Use the link in the description and check it out for yourself with your two-month free subscription. Promo code WAFFLES. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope maybe you learned something or maybe you're going to go learn something on Skillshare. <laughs> I do want to send out a very big thank you to Skillshare. I don't think I've ever gotten so much like content and like learned so much from something free in my life. So thank you. That was awesome. And uh, thank you for letting me share it with all my wonderful subscribers. And of course, I want to thank you all for watching and I hope you have a very delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.